Okay, we have a workhorse. I call these a workhorse flat shader set. You can um, buy these in singles or in the set. The set is a much more economical deal. This is the same fusion here that I um, use that we um, that we use for Patty's favorite dry brush. Um, it is very, very durable. Um, it's very stiff. It's not super stiff, but it um, holds up very nicely. Um, we've got one on our website that's the MD shader, and it is fantastic for soft floating instead of um, firm, more put things where you want it floating. Let me show you what this guy will do. So we're going to float same kind of thing when you're floating and you want to make a blend. Um, the How to Float um, DVD would be for you if you really hate to float. Okay, so we're going to press when we do this to work that paint into the brush. And I'm going to suck up a few of my water drops. Okay. So this has just got a nice, lovely, clean um, float. And it is absolutely a fantastic brush. Where we put our brushes through a lot of um, abuse is when we take them and we use them and we base coat. This... Um, technique of base coating, you end up with a lot of stuff glommed up into your paintbrush. And let me show you how to base coat so that you don't, um, say I've got my circle right here, so you don't end up with ridges. Okay, so with um, most base coating, what you're going to do, what you don't want to do, is you don't want to scoop up your paint. Okay, The way you want to load your paint to base coat is you want to push your paintbrush halfway up into flat paint. Okay, then you're going to come over here, and instead of putting my brush right on that line, which will give me a ridge right there that I will not be able to get rid of, okay, let me pick up a little bit more paint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here next to my line, I'm going to put my paintbrush down, I'm going to flatten out that side, and then I'm going to come over here and press until it goes to my line. And what that's going to do is it's going to blend that little ridge that I had over to the line, and it makes for a much cleaner line. I call it kind of sneaking up on, sneaking up on the line. Okay, so here we go. We're just sneak up on that puppy. My very straight line. Okay, and so then you do not want to have water in your paintbrush when you are base coating. Um, you know, and you just want to do thin, thin, thin coats. Really, you should always need two coats of paint to base coat. It will depend on the um, amount of paint that you have in your ferrule. The uses for your paintbrush for a flat, the number one use should be for floating. The first thing you use it for is to float. Number two, you should use it for base coating um, because you need the control for base coating. And number three, you can use it for slip slapping. Okay. Number four, you can use it to um, mop. Okay. Number five, you can use it for stippling. So that's kind of the use. You shouldn't start down here and use it for stippling very first thing because then it won't be, um, you'll wreck your brush down here. So we start out with the one that will need the finest, um, that needs the finest technique and then go down the more abuse you're going to give your brush. And you know, you've got brushes. I, I have like only three brushes over here in my thing. This has been rescued with the um, Windsor Newton brush cleaner and restorer. Um, after you get done using your flat brushes and you get paint up there in the ferrule and stuff like that, you want to make sure that you use a, an excellent um, brush cleaner to clean them out. Okay. Now you can do the same kinds of techniques with um, this brush that you could with the other one. We can just side load into um, this and we can make strokes like we did with the angle shader. Okay, and you can also make lines with this. Okay, when the brush is new, you can do incredible things with this. Okay. But this is an absolutely durable, durable brush. You will not find flat brushes cheaper than this. Um, just in your Michaels and things like that, not even on 50% off. And if you buy them, you're going to have something that will not float very well. This is absolutely an awesome answer for floating. Um, it comes in in gazillion sizes. These large ones are the ones that you're going to use for either large base coating or you're going to use them for your varnishing and things like that. Okay, I would definitely float with this size. This size I'm not such a fan of. I know a lot of teachers do it. 
Um, this brush has the precision control you need to do that. Um, it's not going to be fluffy. It's once again um, made with a, a thinner amount of bristles here. Um, some of flats are very, very thick and that makes them less precise. This has got a very sharp chisely edge and it's a very precise brush.